Alright guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. Getting to it with the, uh, got everything prepared I believe. So we're going to do transmission, fluid change, filter change on my 2015 Audi Q7 8-speed ASIN transmission. So <clears throat> it says here you can use an infrared gun. I'm going to change the battery in this, or batteries, whatever it is. So this way it's new, because uh, this battery is very old. So just keep in mind that I'll have a new battery in. So basically, what you need to prep is you need a, a T25, supposedly, to undo all the under the splash guard. Um... But I don't think the splash guard goes all the way back to the tranny. Oh, let's look. Let's see. I'm bringing it to go on the other side. But yeah, my splash guard is. If I can get you a better view. My splash guard's all the way up front. And the tranny pan's way back here. So I don't think you need to, to remove the splash guard. So I don't believe you need. A T25, so um, I don't think I'll be using this. Um, that's for valves, but anyway. So you need a ratchet with a 10 millimeter. So, so I got a 10 millimeter swivel socket on a 3 8 drive, a 10 millimeter uh, on a quarter inch, that's a deep, and a 5 millimeter Allen socket. Allen wrench basically. I'm gonna use this marker for something outside, infrared temperature thing, or a scan tool that can get into the, the transmission and uh, look up the tranny temperature, which is I'm gonna use uh, this phone. So 58% charged. I have an OBD2. Uh, it's actually OBD OBD 11 in the Audi. It's a little Bluetooth wireless scan tool, and I checked it. It does work, and I can see the trans temp electronically. Okay, so you're gonna need that. I ordered this fill tube adapter, but I'm not sure I'm gonna use that. I'm not sure because it, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I'll get into it when I get into it, but basically you got to screw this in. They want you to screw this in and fill the tranny with seven quarts of fluid and then take this off, stick the other one up there. I don't know. I'll go through it. It's all in the instructions. I printed out all the instructions, um, but basically you got the drain plug and then you got that little plastic piece right next to the drain plug. Um, but... Um, I got that, ended up taking this pump sprayer, and bought this little kit from the Harbor Freight. Uh, it's a little ball valve, and a barb fitting, um, and then some, just basically some black silicone hose, 930 seconds. I didn't buy this <clears throat> from Harbor Freight. Just had this, so it's windshield washer, uh, vacuum line, vacuum tubing. Um, I stuck a gauge on here, so it's holding pressure. So, anyway, just a little ball valve. I cleaned everything, hosed everything off. I washed everything out, cleaned it. There's no water, there's no moisture in there. Got the parts laid out. So we have... Um, the drain plug washer, I got the gasket here, these little fittings right here, they go in the gasket around the pan, the filter, like I said, I have a drain, drain pan or drain bucket tub, um, I had a little crack in here, and I cleaned this thing out, like, really, really good. 
really, really well. Um, because I want to check and see if there's any metals in it, in the fluid. Um, I don't think I'll send a sample off to anything. But, anyway, it's all clean, it's all dry. Everything's ready to go. So that's, that took me about an hour to do everything. Um, I do have a light. And, uh, I don't think I have... I won't have a uh, tripod under there, so I'm going to try to do as best I can with what I got. Um, but yeah, these are the, the parts I got from Harbor Freight. It's a part number 63569. It's just a seven piece quarter inch air hose repair kit. Um, I just used this fitting, uh, two hose clamps out of there. I bought two sets. Um, that's that part. Let's see if I can find the part number. So, full port ball valve, quarter inch MPT. Um, not sure if I have, I don't think I have the part number. Um, but yeah, anyway, I ended up using that stuff, and uh, this is the gauge. So I think the gauge is 64554, um, which you don't really need the gauge. I just did the gauge because I'm going to try to do some other stuff with that thing. Um, but anyway, let me uh, try to figure out a way to set you guys up under there and just get started. I'm just going to drain it. Basically the process is to take the drain plug out, let it drain, and then you take the little uh, uh, little fill adapter thing in there. I don't know what it's called. Um, it's just plastic. So it's five millimeters, so you just go really easy with that. And uh, then once all that's drained, then you take the uh, 10 millimeter bolts. I think they're like six millimeter, but they're 10 millimeter head. Um, you take all those off. I believe there's 12 or 11, maybe 10. And uh, yeah, the biggest, the biggest problem is gonna be Topping it off because there's no dipstick, there's no fill sensor, there's nothing. You have to get the car, the transmission to a certain temperature. Once you get the transmission to that temperature, you're supposed to, after it's leaked out, you're supposed to pump an additional cord in. Um, but I'll get into that later um, into details to confirm that um, when I read the instructions a little better. I've read the instructions probably like six times. And it's just a lot of tedious, weird little stuff. So, um, anyway, I'll get into all that. I'll basically go through, I just went through the whole steps of draining it and, uh, you know, filter. I'll just try to video as much as I can and as short as I can because I hate running on like I'm running on right now. So, anyway, let me get under there. Let me get you guys set up on something and uh, go from there. See you under the car. All right, here we go. So you want to keep the car level, as much level as you can. So I guess there's supposed to be a splash shield here, but my car doesn't have it. So I don't know if you guys can even see. So I'm gonna take take that uh, drain plug out, and you will have to do this cold, apparently. So, like I said, like the instruction said, it's a five millimeter. And, okay. Let's see how good this works out or doesn't. Oh no, that thing was empty. Oh man. Anyway, um, it's not empty. It's just a. Uh, Try and get the socket out. Oh man. I'm gonna have to go get another. Hmm, socket. Oh wow. It's tight. Um. That just houses a little bit of uh, the tranny fluid. The tranny fluid. Alright. So the big uh, memory card got full. Anyway. Um. Yeah, so I took the drain plug off, 
drain plug out and uh, just a little five millimeter Allen key, Allen wrench, Allen socket, whatever you want to call it, hex head and uh, then here's the o-ring. It doesn't actually smell too bad, the tranny fluid. Um, but anyway, so as you can see, it's just draining. Just draining ever so slightly, so um, I'm going to stick the Allen socket thingamajigger up under. Oh, I got a new battery. And this, so tranny 55, 55 degrees, 53, 55 up there. So let's just call it 55. I'm just going to use that for reference. Um, for later when I have to fill it. So, I don't know if I should do this or not. But anyway, there's a. Supposedly it's just plastic. And I don't know if it's even tight or not. You're just supposed to hand tighten these things anyway. Um, it bottoms out on the on the drain plug supposedly. As you can see it's green. Green coming out and it's probably just gonna dump. That's not too bad. Okay. So I got a rag somewhere. I don't know what I did with the rag. So anyway, I'm just going to take this out and put it somewhere safe because right here they're pretty hard to get. Oh, she's not good. Um, so anyway, this is all it is. Just a little tube. So, anyway, I'm going to let that drain for a while. You guys don't need to watch it drain. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take all the bolts loose. They're just a 10 millimeter socket. 10 millimeter little bolts. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back once uh, I pull that out. I'm just smelling the fluid. This fluid does not smell burnt at all. But the car is hitting 145,000 miles, and I figure I might as well do it. Might as well do it. All right, I'll be back once I start pulling the pan. All right, so what I'm going to do is, it's pretty much all done drained. I'm just going to take this drain plug, screw it back in there. Just finger tight, nothing crazy. Take this rag, wipe it, so nothing drips. I can go ahead and move that out of the way. And uh, get my fat belly under here. And uh, I already took some of the bolts off while I was draining. Just trying to figure out. Extension, extension, and a swivel. So basically, you just take off all these bolts, which are pretty much I've got about seven of them out. I have one, two, three, four still in there. I don't even know if you can see because my fat head fell away. But anyway, you get the idea. So I'm going to take all these out and I'll drop the pan. You could leave two in. I'm going to leave one in because it's not going to fall that far over here. It'll just fall on the subframe. And uh, and then I can take the one bolt off back here. Wherever it's at, over here. 
and then put the drain pan back under it and then take it out. So you guys don't need to see all that. That's pretty much pretty much basic. So we got the filter, it's three, I think it's three 10 millimeter bolts. One, one back there, one here, and then, oh, it might be four. So there's two on either side of it. Um, it doesn't look too bad. This looks like it's a bunch of metal flakes, but I can't seem to wipe them off, so. We'll get that off. I'll take that off and we'll get it out in the sunlight. So I'm just going to break these four bolts. Do these four bolts loose. Pull this out. Um, and then come in with a, a lint-free, some lint-free rags or something. I won't use the rags I'm using. Because I just tried to wipe this little bit off and lint is going everywhere. So... And again, let me just say, do this on a level surface because if it's not level, you won't get you won't get the oil level correct apparently. And uh, yeah, so let me take this off and I'm gonna show you some stuff on the oil pan and uh, the filter. So I'll be back. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Alright guys, so you want to make sure that in that little hole right there, let me see if I can zoom in on my, so in that big hole right there where the filter goes in, you have to take this o-ring out if it's stuck in there, so took mine out, must stick it right, right there, so here's a little Four mil or uh, I think they're six millimeter, ten millimeter head bolts. It could be eight millimeter. Anyway, I'm gonna let this drain for a little bit, make more of a mess, cause why not? And oh, I'm gonna go clean the oil pan real quick. Oh man, definitely, definitely. Lose some weight, people. Oh, jeez. Lose some weight. <laughs> and don't go see a chiropractor. Chiropractors are overrated. I've never been, but just lay on concrete. It's a tight squeeze. Um, anyway, let's drop my camera. So here you go. So you can see the new one. It's got the O-ring on it. Right there this is the old one so when I when you pull it off there's gonna be a lot of fluid so I'm just gonna let this drain in here for a little while somehow and then I'm gonna shoot some birds but anyway at this point you can see it's the right oil filter um, so yeah, so now I'm just going to clean the oil, the oil pan, clean the magnets, and uh, yeah, go from there. Uh, but yeah, so I'll read the more instructions just to get myself ready. So that little green thing is called drain plug level insert. So, um, but yeah, it's good, good to have these just printed out. So, anyway, I'm already beyond all this step. So, as you can see, 
I think they left the two bolts in the front undone or in there and then dropped it down, caught the rest of the fluid. Um, they took all that off, took the oil filter off. There's the O-ring. Anyway, so then they're got the new oil filter ready, new oil filter installing it. They're going to change the oil pan gasket, putting all the oil pan gasket stuff in there. Um, cleaned it obviously. The old oil pan gasket, clean the oil pan. Tighten the bolts, I guess they're torquing. Transmission pan gasket in the gasket. Um, they basically just cleaned it. Then they're putting the little fittings in. <clears throat> Mounting holes, the uh, they're just putting those little metal spacers in there. They put the oil pan gasket on the oil pan, and then they're sticking the oil pan back in. Um, it's not really saying what they're torquing it to, just leave the insert snug. Maybe it's over here. Okay, here we go. Um, evenly tighten the transmission pan from one side of the transmission pan to the other, torquing the bolts to seven foot pounds. So I'm assuming the uh, filter is the same. Uh, clean tranny pan. I'm gonna go shoot some birds real quick. Hate freaking these stupid ravens or crows. Yeah, so the filter is seven foot pounds also. So, pretty much self-explanatory right here. Um, really, nothing too crazy uh, until we get into step 17 right here. Step 17 is going to be a pain in the butt and uh, have to closely monitor it. So, I'm going to clean the pan, clean the magnets. I'll show you guys the magnets uh, once I get the drain pan and everything out of the car, off from under the car. And uh, I'll show you the magnets. They don't look too bad, but they do have metal on them. But like any automatic transmission with clutches and everything, you will have metal regardless. Every When you first put a new tranny in and first get it going, so since this is stock transmission, transmission fluid, there's going to be a lot more than the next service. So the next service should have a lot less. Um, first service usually has a lot more. Uh, a lot more metals in it if you guys understand the break-in period with new fibers new everything new bushings it's always going to have a lot more than your second or third and obviously stuff wears out so anyway uh let me get out there clean some stuff and uh get back to going show you guys those magnets all right so got the pan cleaned except for the magnets so I wanted to show you guys the metal, the material that's it's 140 something thousand, 145,000 miles. So as you can see, it's not, it's not too bad. Anyway, it's actually, it's not really that bad at all. So, again, this is an ASIN transmission. Um, wood, you guys are blowing up the messages. But anyway, um, yeah, so basically when I took that drain plug out and then that little drain fill thing, so you still have this much fluid in the tranny. So whatever's basically level with this so as you can see let's see we can see basically level with the top of the pan so when you drain the the whole transmission you still have this whole pan full of tranny fluid so be aware of of that much fluid um still in there all right so i'm gonna go ahead and clean these magnets um clean everything really good um like i said i didn't touch these 
Uh, I'm going to throw the gasket on and I'm going to throw the filter on underneath and uh, torque everything down. Like I said, it's seven foot pounds. Uh, I don't know why they don't have it in inches or newton meters, but whatever. It's seven foot pounds for the filter and then seven foot pounds for all these. It says to start on one side and work your way this way. So I'll tighten obviously these ones. Maybe I'll tighten this one and then go this way and then work my way that way. So this way it's in the middle. But the gasket's a pretty thick gasket and it's got spacers. So basically once those spacers are bottomed out, it's done. It's crushed this gasket. So, all right, uh, let me clean everything and uh, just keep on rolling. Alright, so here we go, we're going to start filling. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a quart, or a liter, whatever, and I'm going to mark it. So that's one liter, and then I'll do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, this way I know how many. But, uh, I just want to show you guys, check this, check this, uh, this out. Let me see if I can... see what we can do here for destroying the camera so pull that out untwist it and then there's a hose in here what the heck is not that nuts and you can take that off some crazy stuff huh so anyway like I said I'm just gonna fill it Fill it and mark it, fill it and mark it. So, anyway, I got the bottle all cleaned out. This thing's completely clean, no contaminants, no nothing in it. So, just uh, gonna fill it up and I'm gonna do about seven. I'll probably put all nine quarts in here and then. Uh, I'll just get it down to two because it said as it says add seven to eight quarts or seven to eight liters. So I'll just fill it till it gets to the maybe one and a half, and then you got to start the car and do all kinds of other stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, just wanted to show you guys this bottle. Pretty cool. All right, here we go. I got eight liters in here. This is it's as high as I can go is eight. It says uh, two gallons, which I don't get. It says gallon, one gallon, two gallon. So eight liters is, oh no, this thing's leaking. I don't know why it's leaking. Mm, I'm going to have to hurry up. So I'm going to get under there 
start pumping this junk under there because it's leaking. I don't like that it's leaking. I don't know where it's leaking from, so. Anywho, let me get under there and do this. I'm just going to grab a little catch pan real quick. Catch stuff if I can. As you can see, I got four quarts in there right now. It said to pump seven quarts in, so I'm going to wait. Like I said, until it gets down here. Once it gets down there, then you start the car, put it through its gears, do a bunch of hokey pokey, cross your fingers, shout about. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, once I get it all in, I'll get back with you guys and uh, We'll do the top off process that I'll show you guys what I'm using to get into the computer to check the temperature and all that other junk. So we'll be back. Alright guys, so let's start the process. So I'm connected to the OBD11. So I'm going to go to car, gauges, engine, actual engine, driver's demand, fuel, fuel injection, Acceleration, catalyst, distance, warm up, sense, whatever, distance, um, throttle position, vehicle speed, engine coolant, um, don't remember where it was, let's go to car here again, control units, Let's go to transmission. Pretty sure it was in there. Transmission. Um, let's do some live data. Data. Okay, let's see. Transmission mileage. Transmission output. Transmission RPM. Trans control. Not coolant temperature, obviously. Hmm, it's pretty far down here if I remember right. So, transmission fluid temp. Let's go with that one. So we got 68 degrees. So, it says to start it. Start the car. So now it's showing 59 degrees. So we're going to run it through some gears. Two, three, four, five. Throw it in neutral. Go to drive. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go to Paddle shifting, which doesn't do anything. Let's go back. Let's go to sport. Reverse. So basically, run it through all the gears, whatever. See, doesn't do anything. So we're gonna throw it in park. It says with it idling, while the engine is idling, continue to feed the two remaining liters of the ATF. Blah blah blah. Um, the engine still at idle. Remove the fill adapter. So that is what I'm going to do right now while it's still running. So we're still at 68 degrees. I'm gonna go down there, check it with the temp gun. So that's done. Let's see, hopefully it's not leaking or anything crazy. And, oh, it's not leaking. 
weekend. There's nothing in this catch can. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other two quarts in here. Pump it up, pump the jam. Go ahead and force the fluid in there. Go back to the destructions. Sorry, it's so bright, guys. Let's come into here. Step 19 correctly measure transmission fluid, uh, the operating temperature using their thing, blah blah blah, ATF temperature reading. Then we get into here. Idle transmission fluid temperature is warm between 95 and 113. It will take around 15 minutes. Temperatures between there, remove the drain plug, allow the expanded transmission fluid from the fill drain port until it comes to a very mild trickle. When it happens, proper ATF fluid levels is whatever. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead, fill it up, keep filling. Trans temperatures going to 75 right now. So I'm gonna get those last two quarts in. We're down to the last quart right now. Do some more pumping. And then I'll shut it off. I'll unthread that adapter. Unthread the adapter and put the drain plug in there snug with uh, by my fingers, and then uh, we'll let it get to its temperature. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're getting down to the last, so um, I'll show you guys once I get all done, once it's all in there, and uh, do the final drain procedure or process or the fluid check I'll be back all right so we're coming up to 84 degrees let's cycle it through the gears again that temperature so we're at 91 degrees so it says whatever it said earlier I'll have to find it again basically um, allow transmission fluid temperature with the vehicle level and engine at idle allow transmission fluid temperature to warm between 95 and 113 typically it will take 15 minutes at temperature between the range remove the drain plug and allow the expanded transmission fluid to flow out from the fill drain until it comes out to a very mild trickle when this happens the proper training fluid is good so um so we're at 95 degrees i'm gonna go ahead and let it come to a trickle and uh Get my new washer and uh, we'll be good, hopefully. And then I'll tighten the. Alright, guys. So I got it all done. I thought it was too much. I thought I drained out too much. Turns out it says that you want um, six to seven quarts go into a full tranny service so as you can see there I have two quarts that I put the drain plug in once it was drained um, I let it all drain into there 
So I'm assuming mine take took seven quarts. So anyway, I uh, ended up doing the diffs too. The front diff was a pain in the butt. Um, rear diff, I really wasn't able to get a good angle with the camera. And the uh, front diff, absolutely not, could not, I could barely see, let alone trying to get a camera in there. Um, ended up using a hand pump for the gear oil. Went through, I think it's 1.1 liters for the rear and 0.8 liters for the front. Um, I did use that additive because it does save for gears, manual gear, mesh, all the other stuff. Uh, it's as long as it's not, there's no clutches or electronically controlled clutches or anything. So, um, as you can see, that's pretty much the gear oil inside there. It's pretty, pretty black. Um, so anyway, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up some mess. I'm going to spray a bunch of junk in here pressure wash and I'm a pressure wash underneath the engine underneath the tranny whatever underneath the car because <clears throat> fluid got in a lot of places um, the front diff to pump it was nearly impossible um, to hold the hose and to hold it into the fill and to pump it it was just impossible um, ended up doing it but made a mess doing it so I just got some cleaning up to do um, and then that's it for the tranny service tranny service and the uh, front and rear diff um, never want to do it again though that's for sure so I'm thinking the, the next service for the tranny um, just because it's a pain in the butt with the fitting, the adapter, the trickling, and who knows if it's a trickle or a drizzle or a gushing, I don't know. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt uh, to do, especially on the ground. If I had a lift and knew the car was level with a lift, then I think it would be a lot easier, but anyway. That's it, I went and drove the car around, shifted it through all the gears, everything felt fine, shift, Shifts felt firm, um, but yeah, I won't know till the next service. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and hose stuff down with some simple green and clean up the garage, and then I'm gonna go in the house, shave my head, and uh, take me a shower. So, all right, guys, we'll see you guys on the next video. Sorry, I couldn't get a, the diff services, but it's a pretty simple service. You, Want to crack the fill plug first to make sure you can actually get it off. Crack the fill, drain it, fill it. You know, it's it's common sense on that. So, all right. Uh, see you guys on the next video. I don't know what it'll be. Who knows? All right, guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking in for a long video. All right. Later.